And then putting in my mind can be as simple as that. So no harder than throwing or catching a ball. So basically, if you can throw a ball, you can be a great putter. Yep. If you can toss a ball, throw a ball, you should be good at putting because it really is no harder than that. Today, I want to share some snippets from one of my podcast interviews with Cameron Strachan. Hey, everyone. My name is Michael Leonard, creator of Wicked Smart Golf. Now, Cameron used to actually coach Aaron Badley uh, when he was really successful on the PGA Tour, and he developed a unique system that has transformed the way that I've put and so many people have around the world. Now, what's great about this system is that you already have everything you need inside of you. Now, I know that sounds a little too good to be true, but there's a concept called natural learning. And we're going to dive into that right now. Really dive into natural learning. So can you explain what natural learning is and, and why it's so important in putting? Well, it, it, you can go very deep with all this, and I've probably gone very deep with it. And if you go too deep, you might uh, overdo it and overcomplicate it. But when it comes to putting, I like to describe it as no harder than throwing a ball or tossing a ball to someone. So assuming I'm here now, I've got a ball in my hand, and I was going to throw it to you. Um, you know, I might be three or four yards away from you or 10 yards. And I've got no doubt in my mind that I'd be able to toss that ball to you. And I've also got no doubt you'd be able to catch it, Mike, as well. You'd catch the ball. And then if I asked you to throw it back to me, you'd go, oh, no worries. You'd just look at me and you'd toss it back to me. And it'd be a perfect speed, perfect height. You wouldn't overcomplicate it. Now, if I walked further away or came closer, um, you would still have no trouble in looking and, sh and throwing that ball. And then putting in my mind can be as simple as that. So no harder than throwing or catching a ball. So basically, if you can throw a ball, you can be a great putter. Yep. If you can toss a ball, throw a ball, you should be good at putting because it, it really is no harder than that. So complicated, though. We start thinking about how far to take the putter back. We worry about our head movement. We might miss a putt from six feet and we think we've done something wrong. But the chances are that the ball could have hit a spike mark or it could have you know, been a really good putt. But you know, the, the moons weren't aligned. It might have just taken a bit of a bad bounce or just didn't go in. But we start changing things. We start changing things for the sake of it. And the more things you change, the more things you change. It just becomes a vicious cycle of changing, changing, changing. And you don't give your natural system, your learning system, a chance to do its thing. And that I'm so glad you said that overcomplicating things. I know because yeah. I'm a perfectionist. I'm someone that, you know, I wanted to feel like I did everything I could to play my best golf. And so I had probably 12 things I was checking, you know, making sure it was the ball was in the right spot, my grip pressure, my aim, my head, you know, and I was so in my head when I, before I first found this and I was just constantly worried. I was over the golf ball. I was just like kind of hoping more than just looking and reacting. And I, and I didn't understand it because, you know, sometimes I'd go out there casual rounds and be a great putter. But then all of a sudden when it mattered most, I would just tense up and try and guide the putter. And when I read everything that you talked about in there, for me, what really stuck out was let your subconscious take control and stop trying to let your conscious, your analytical mind do the work. Because from what I've learned from the subconscious, just from my own personal development journey, it's the powerful mind. It's the one that's creative. It's how you get in the zone. But I was so overcomplicating things, and I think most golfers are, that you really take away that ability to get in your zone of genius because you are trying to control it with your conscious mind. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I love this sort of stuff. I, I speak to a lot of golfers. A vast majority of my clientele, uh, adults, so they're, they're, you know, they're not kids, they're adults, and they're typically over 40 or even over 50 years of age. They're males, um, and they're very successful in, in their life. So they're, um, they're accountants, they're doctors, they're engineers, um, they're, you know, they're very good in business, or they're CEOs of companies. They've been playing golf for a long time, um, and everything they do in their life, they're good at. And a lot of them have really good tennis games. Um, they might be good at bowling. They might be good at running or cycling or football. I've, you know, I've spoken to... Um, clients who have played pro league you know, hockey in the US and, and gridiron and baseball. I mean, it's phenomenal the, the amount of people that I've had. But when it comes to golf, they just overanalyze it and think so much. And putting is such an easy skill to overanalyze because it's, it's almost static. We've got lots of time to think about it. The club's not moving quickly. Um, you know, the ball's sitting on the ground. Um, and sometimes we haven't got very far to hit the ball. We've only got to hit it three feet. But we, so that gives us, it gives that analytical person that really. Um, I call them accountant types. It gives them a lot of time to think and analyze. And yeah, when I was involved in a scientific study way back in the day, one of the smart scientists that I got to work with, a biomechanist, really, really smart dude, one of the smartest guys I've ever met, 
he said something to the effect of, if we analyse how we walk down a flight of stairs, we'd end up in a heap at the bottom. And it's and it's so true, and it's what happens with golfers, and that's how you develop the yips, and it's how you lose confidence. And sadly, what happens is the worse we putt, what tends to happen at least, the worse we putt, the more things we keep feeding into our brain. And the you know the counterintuitive thing is that what's causing the problems is all that is adding more you know adding more things. We think it's helping, but it's actually making things worse. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed that short little snippet. Just remember, natural learning and trusting your instincts is the key to becoming a wicked smart golfer and putting out of your mind. If you want to learn more about this system, make sure to take a look at the description below as I share the more details on the look and shoot putting method and how it helped me drop four shots on the greens per round in one season. Thanks again for watching and as always, I hope you have an epic day on the links.